All right, I am back from the gym and I am starving. I went to the grocery store on the way home from the gym because I wanted to get some stuff to do some meal planning for the upcoming week. I am going to prep some salmon and salad. I'm also gonna do a red pepper jam that I love. It's so great for breakfast on scrambled eggs. And yeah, I will show you the whole process. So let's get started. I am going to have a little water. I'm just going to use some tap water here. And I put some lemon in there. And I like to add a little aloe juice. This is something I discovered through my mother actually, and she makes her own. She just takes a piece of aloe and I don't know, she mashes it and adds it to water, but apparently it's really great at detoxifying your liver. And since I drink so much wine, I've been on a whole aloe juice kick. But since I don't have the time to make it on my own, um, I just got some here at the grocery store. So this is aloe juice, a one liter bottle. Uh, sounds pretty gross, but it's actually really good. It has like a guava-like flavor. Oh, it's delicious. I highly recommend this if you don't like the taste of water, if you think water's too boring to drink, put some lemon in it and a little of this aloe juice and you're set. So I have some salmon steaks here and I'm gonna cut them in half and this will last me about four days. I will bake them and take them for lunches at work and got a couple bags of salad because the grocery store was out of both romaine lettuce and iceberg lettuce. They're having an insane sale and I wasn't driving to another grocery store. And the peppers and basil for the red pepper jam that I like to make. For the salmon, I like to rinse it first. Open these both up here. Yeah, so I just like to rinse it to get any extra scales off. One. And then I pat it dry with some paper towels. Cut them in half. Then I take a foil lined pan here, it's just a glass dish. I add a little olive oil. I spread that olive oil around. And then I put the salmon, oops, I put the salmon right in. So I add a little lemon. Some salt. So I forgot to get dill at the grocery store, so I'm gonna just add some cracked pepper, oregano, and a little garlic powder. Not too much garlic. Some Cracked pepper, just a little, nothing too crazy. Hi Reese. And a little oregano. And I'm gonna add some chili powder Spice it up a little, just a little. There we go. Down, Reese. Okay, so when that's all done, I wrap this up. Like so. Tuck in those corners, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. So I have set my oven here for 375 degrees. 
I'm going to go ahead and put in the salmon. There we go. Beautiful. And I'm going to cook it for half an hour. There we go. So I don't go too crazy with my salads, you know, not at home. Although I, you know, I do love salads and I do make some really great, interesting ones, but I just want to make a quick green salad for today. The bags of salad that I picked up at the grocery store are just mixed salads. So we have romaine, radicchio, julienne carrots. I think that's it. Oh yeah, that's it. Thought maybe there was some iceberg in there. So I'm just going to wash this up and put these bags of salad in a big salad bowl. Okay, so for the red pepper jam, I take four red peppers. This is super easy. I got this out of a recipe book that my husband got me for Christmas one year. And it's just a really nice way to liven up scrambled eggs in the morning. It's also really good with flank steak. But like, use it however way you want. Can I tell you, I hate these stickers that they put on veggies and fruit. Ugh. God, that's annoying. So I'm just gonna give these a rinse. And then we are going to broil them so they blacken nicely. So I'm just going to chop up some garlic here. For some fresh basil. I'm just going to chop this up. So I just took the salmon out of the oven for the last few minutes and I'm going to unwrap it here. Ooh, there we go. And I'm just going to let it, put it back in and let it brown for a bit. And uh, this is operation, do not burn thyself while putting this in. All right, excellent, done. Okay, here are our beautiful red peppers. Sorry for the noise, I'm just gonna make a cup of tea here while I wait. So I'm gonna broil them. So I've set the oven and I've got my trusty cooking partner here. Reese went to the groomers and he looks like a totally different dog. Look at how spindly his legs are. Oh, Reese, I miss my little teddy bear. You're so nice. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, I need you to move. Move away from the oven. Come on. All right, Reese doesn't like actually moving. I'm just going to push him out of the way here. Good boy. <laughs> okay, in the peppers go. Gonna broil them up. Lovely. We are gonna set that for 15 minutes. And, uh, lunch is served. So have a big hearty helping of salad, my baked salmon, and I'm just gonna supplement this with a little soup because it's so cold outside. I need something really nice and warm. I would normally add tomatoes to this. I love tomatoes, but I have developed a sensitivity to tomatoes over the last few years they tear up my mouth, so I am pretty sad about that. I put a little oil and vinegar dressing on the salad that I made. Boring, I know, but it's actually quite tasty. I actually really like the taste of it. 
or I'll make my own balsamic vinegar dressing, which is simply balsamic vinegar, olive oil, a little celery salt, cracked pepper, and I will mash a little garlic into it using a garlic press, and that's super tasty, but I just wanted to go simple today. I thought I'd better check on the red pepper jam before I go and eat. So we are at nine and a half minutes left on full broil, and I'm going to flip the peppers now. So just a word of advice when you're broiling red peppers like this, any peppers, broil them nice and good so that they're good and blackened, because that makes it easier to peel once you're done. Okay, so the red peppers are all nice and charred. Look at how beautiful that is. Sometimes in the summer, I will just do this on the barbecue outside. Now, all we do is transfer them to, I'm transferring them to a corningware dish over here. And I hope they all fit, because they need to sit for about 15 minutes. And then we peel the skin off. Oh, this one's nice and stuck. Okay, I've got to do some jigsawing over here. These are all gonna fit in here. All right, they are gonna sit for 15 minutes so that they can cool, so that I can peel the skin off. 